Hi, I'm Mike with the School of Self-Reliance. Today we're going to talk a little bit about alcohol stoves. This one is a homemade alcohol stove. It's made from soda cans. Uh, got a bottom here for the bottom, a bottom of a soda can. Another bottom where it's been cut out, drilled through. And the soda can has been sliced up so there's another band in the inside of this. So it's pretty sturdy and then it's got uh, industrial heat tape around it. Uh, I've been looking at a lot of these alcohol stoves lately and I, I think I kind of like them. Uh, it's lightweight, it's something you can put in your pack. It will run off of denatured alcohol or drinking alcohol. Uh, several other different fuels too, but alcohol seem to work the best. And, you know, this is a really useful tool because if you've got a little bit of denatured alcohol, this is 10 fluid ounces. Um, all I've done here is I've taken a bug juice bottle, taken the label off of it, rinsed it out with alcohol, and filled it up with this. And if you, um, uh, if you see, this is pretty flexible. It's a pretty uh, durable little container. And it's got a squeeze top, so it's easy to get the fluid in and out. You know, you have to take the lid off. And if you've got this in your pack, you know, it's squishy enough that it'll take a little impact. Uh, and if it does happen to spill in your gear, denatured alcohol smells pretty pleasant and it won't screw your gear up. And in a few minutes it will be evaporated off. Uh, so I, I really think the denatured alcohol is the best fuel for these little stoves. Um, there's a lot of these out on eBay and there's several little designs. I kind of like this one the best. But this is a useful little pack tool because you can take this, put it in your backpack, and let's say you were out in the, the uh, woods and it's winter time and you fall over you know, into a creek or something, you know, you get wet. Um, this right here could save your life. You just set it down, get into your pack, get some alcohol out, you know, dump it in, about an ounce, close it, light it, and in a couple of minutes, what's going to happen is this little blue flame that I'm not even sure you can completely see uh, is going to, the alcohol is going to start to boil. And it's going to go into the combustion chambers around the side. Right now, it's already putting off a whole lot of heat. And as soon as it starts to boil the alcohol and it goes down into these combustion chambers, uh, these jets, these holes in the side are going to come to life and this is going to be a little mini afterburner. Um, I'm using this right here just to shield our countertop from the heat that it's going to generate. But long story short, if you, if you did fall into a river or something like that or it was really, really wet outside uh, and you couldn't get a sustainable fire going, you could take this and dry kindling over it. Take some, some small pieces, dry them out, get them started, set them aside and start doing that with, uh, with other pieces until you could get a sustainable fire. And if you had to, like I said, if you were wet and it was winter time, you lit this off, uh, you could get warm by this, keep yourself from freezing, because there's a flame all the way up to here already. And I'll prove that to you. This thing is just cooking away. It's almost, almost running the way that it should. The jets are starting to come to life, and in another minute, this thing is really going to take off, and it already actually is taking off, as you can see. But there are also covers that you can make for these uh, out of uh, uh, duck material, or you can make them out of uh, fence material and put them around here so that you've got... Uh, something on the top here, you know, around the sides that it can breathe through that you can set a cup on top of where it's not directly actually on the stove. Um, but these are just a great little device. They don't cost much and they're pretty easy. If you, if you buy them, they don't cost much, but they're pretty easy to make. Um, you can make one pretty, pretty easily. Um, and I think it's just a nice little piece of kit because this and this, they don't weigh much. They can fit in a very small compartment on your pack. Also, when this thing is done burning, it's aluminum, so it's going to dissipate heat very quickly. It's going to be ready uh, in only a minute or two. It's going to be cool enough for you to pick it up with your hand and put it back in your backpack without damaging any of your gear. And again, like I said, I don't know if you can see this, but this thing is actually 
doing its job pretty well. It burns so hot that the, the, the flame is, is blue, but, but it, uh, uh, it's actually a clear blue. It's, it's barely visible except at night. Um, but I can assure you that there's, there's a flame all the way up to here. So anyway, it's something to consider. It's a piece of gear that I would highly recommend. Uh, we do sell it in the store, and you can buy them offline on eBay and a bunch of other websites. And you can look up plans online to build them yourself. It's a valuable little piece of kit. doesn't take up much space, and um, it's something that I think everybody should have in their bag. Like I was saying, after about two minutes, you can handle this stove. It's completely cool to the touch. And if you need to, anytime when it goes out, you just grab, pour some more alcohol, touch it off, it's ready to go. Um, the other thing is, is that you really wouldn't believe it, but this little thing will boil an 8-ounce cup of water in less than 3 minutes, about 2 and a half minutes. It'll have it to a rolling boil. Um, it will heat food remarkably quickly. Uh, so like I said, it's a good little piece of kit. like having it in my pack. Uh, you might enjoy it too. Uh, thanks a lot.